Hey there guys, it's Rick in here with Flip with Rick. And today I want to show you the number one data source for all wholesalers. It's called PropStream. Now, before I get into the video, if you currently do not have a PropStream account, I need you to go over to listrei.com. That's listrei.com and go ahead and register for your free version of PropStream. And I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can utilize this in your current market. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm starting out in your account, just a blank screen here. And the first thing you wanna do is you can pick, you can do your comps, you can do valuations, you can pull lists. So I'm gonna start with comps, but the first thing I wanna do is show you, you always wanna do this based on zip codes. It's much more precise data. So if I put in one zip code, um, and you want to put in another one, just put in a comment just like that and hit enter. So I'm in South Florida. Um, this is in Broward County, born and raised there. So here we have a list. So I'm going to get into further detail on all these lists, but what it's doing is aggregating the data based on your cash buyers list for your foreclosures, stuff that's on MLS, vacant and so forth. So. If we want to do a comp, let me show you how to do it. So if I want to do a comp, I can just pick this property. And this is one of the best features of PropStream. They offer the most detailed comp service as an investor. What this allows me to do is for a long time, I have to constantly bug realtors on how to get valuations. I have to have them pull up um, MLS data. I pull up my public record data. What this does, it puts it all in one spot to make a quick decision. And for those of you guys that do virtual markets, this, you, you have to have it because it instantly gives you a reading if you have a deal or not. So real quick on this, um, this just kind of runs you through on a summarization. It gives you an estimated value right off the bat. So when you're talking with your sellers, um, if they're offering, you know, I, I need to sell this for six or seven hundred, you know, you're way off on it. Um, so this one looks like it's free and clear. Um, and it gives you all sorts of uh, details. So it gives you the estimated equity um, and it'll give you 12 comparable sales. I'm not going to go into every detail, but this thing is amazing. If you look down here, if there's any type of MLS details, it's going to go in it for you. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get this to. Okay, so we scroll down. So we get property char characteristics. We see it's a four bedroom, um, four baths. Um, you can see the exterior wall. It's got a pool. It's got stucco. Um, building area 3430. Um, living air. Gross square footage. I mean, this is going to give you everything out of the tax records. I no longer even have to go into the tax records anymore. I can pull this information. You can tell if it's CBS, if it's frame. Uh, for those of you that deal with um, basements, um, we don't have that here in Florida. This will give you everything. If you want the MLS details, you can click on there and it'll give you everything in there. So here's the description from the realtor. Remember, you don't have to call your realtors anymore. You can actually PropStream pulls data from 92% of the MLS services. So this is a huge time saver. So many times we either pay a realtor or feel like we're begging them for information. No longer do you have to do that in order just to get a basic comp. Um, and then, so here's the key feature of the comps. Let me pull this up. It's thinking here. You can go in and you can pick all your comparable comps and it'll do an average on here. You can actually filter and sort comps. Uh, let's see. Um, and then you check the box and you can save the comps. You can actually print the comps and you have a sheet right there and it'll give you a price per square footage the average sale price, but you have the ability to match up. Like I'd probably take off the three bedroom on this one and you can go through and filter your comps and get a very accurate, just as you would with a realtor. If you look on here, you can use both. And I like to click that criteria. 
uh, and it'll give you every sail. You can fix the distance around it. Um, you can easily uh, you know, make sure you actually have the exact same um, subdivision name. So really cool stuff. I wish they did this a long time ago. This feature alone will save you a ton of time and is well worth the, um, I, and to me, I thought it was amazing, but the comparables alone are just the beginning of what you get through PropStream. So I want to kind of run you through. So we just put in two zip codes. And I said, you can break this down per zip code. I want to, you do cities, you get very, very, um, it's a lot of information, so I like to break it down so you can do that. So first of all, you can go down here, you can switch from roadmap, um, oops, and it'll do an aerial view. And then you can zoom in um, on the area. So this is valuable when you're doing in your local market, um, if you're doing a little and uh, in a virtual market, that's perfect for it. So let's do this. Really cool feature here. It shows me there's 4,885 cash buyers. All this is doing is putting the data together, telling you how many cash buyers are in these two zip codes. So let's go ahead and click it. Sorry guys, I got a new computer here and I'm trying to figure it out. So now it's gonna pull up all the cash buyers. So by simply going up here and clicking the filter, we can go through and sort the cash buyers. So if I have a property in one of these zip codes and I want to sell it quickly, I want to pull the cash buyers in the area so I can quickly sell the property. So the first thing I want to do is um, we don't want it owner occupied and those are filter the people that just bought cash and lived in on their own. Um, property characteristics. Um, if I'm selling a single family home, I just want to market people that have bought single family homes. And here's another really, really powerful feature. Um, I don't want to market, sometimes you can filter out the people that put stuff on MLS. It just depends on what your mix is. I prefer to find properties that are not on MLS, but a lot of cash buyers put their properties on MLS, so it's up to you. You can click yes or no or any. I'll just do no for now. Um, Let's see what else we can do. And then there's just all these um, filtering criterias. Um, so if we're looking for properties to say, you don't want to sell more than 500,000, I'm going to put between um, buyers of 400,000 and maybe like 550, 555 and let's see and you can kind of keep going on and on with that and this gives you your filtering data and then what happens is i got cash buyers down to 169 dollars you quickly you quickly just click unique properties um, and what you'll do is you will save this to your list the list can pop up here and the really cool thing i'm not, I'm not going to show you to you you can take that list, it turns it into a CSV file. And with a PropStream account, you get 10,000 pulls per month. So that more than suffices most of people's needs um, in your market. And you can take that CSV file. Now you got a choice. You can either mail to them, um, you can script trace the list, and you can call them. Within hours, you can have a buyer for your property. This this software guy saves you so much time and energy. That's the whole idea of it. So I right now have $169. Um, one of the filters on there I missed to show you was ownership information. And the idea is I'm typically, I'm looking for the guy, the sweet spot is someone who buys one or two properties a year. I don't want someone who buys 30. Most people buy 30 are gonna buy in a corporation. So we start with individual and maybe uh, a trust. And then let's see what that narrows it down to. So that gets me down to 60 unique, unique cash buyers in these two zip codes. You can take this file and you can download the CSV file and you can skip trace it and get it done. Now, you can skip trace within 
prop stream, but there's a lot of services out there probably be a little bit better price for skip tracing and you can just stick with those. It's up to you what's your time worth and your convenience. And that's pretty much, I showed you how to do the comps. I showed you how to do the cash buyers list. So the next thing is this will also pull up. This is really, really cool. It pulls up all the vacant properties within your geographic area. So if uh, it's vacant, Rick, how do you know it's vacant? I have no idea, but here's what they do. There's only one person that knows true vacant properties. It's the United States Postal Service. When they fill out a card and say the property is vacant or the mailman is delivering a mail and it's been vacant for more than two weeks and the mail's filled up, they submit a card to the USPS and it goes in their database so they can streamline their carriers so they don't waste time. So they have a master list. I don't know how people get access to it, but you and me don't get access to it. So you have to get it through a third party source. I find that PropStream has the most accurate vacant information. And here's one of the key uh, factors in it. And there's a lot of services you, you can use out there. So this is going to show me all the vacant properties. And once again, I'm going to go into filters. I'm going to show you tricks I use for my current list. So the first thing I want to do is, is it owner occupied? I really don't care because that doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and click vacant and property characteristics. I like single family homes, but if you do condos or townhomes, you can also do multis in there and plus five. And one of the key things that you can include, see this MLS status, status. Uh, um, I, I want to filter most traditional vacant lists they give you MLS properties because most of them are vacant and they're trying to sell in the open market. Click, um, it says on market, yes or no. I click no, which is awesome. So it changes a lot. And then the last thing you can do, you can go down to ownership information. Um, there's a million uh, things you can source here. But what I like to do is if I know I'm in an area where the values say, um, you know, anywhere from a hundred thousand, which would be great if someone could sell you on that. But, um, and I don't want to go over say $550,000 in this neighborhood. That way you're not pulling up million dollar vacant homes. Um, but you can do equity, you can do all sorts of stuff in this. And then my vacant property goes down to 265. Once again, go ahead and click the unique properties, upload your list. And the really cool feature on this is when you save a list in PropStream, it will constantly update you on the data. So when the property gets sold or transferred, you immediately get uploaded on your list. Um, I believe it's called List Automation, a very, very powerful source. It also keeps track of your cash buyers to see what they're, if they've sold a property, it's a great time to reach out and contact them. Really, really valuable um, information. So that's the vacants. I showed you the cash buyers list and I showed you how to pull comps. Here's the last thing I'm going to show you. There's some other really cool tools. Um, I'm going to pick a bigger area for doing this. So um, let's just say we do um, Fort Lauderdale. Let's see if I can spell it right. Fort Lauderdale. Now this is going to be a very highly populated. There we go. Okay, so here's all your lists again. And by the way, I don't spend much time in auctions. Um, you can go on pre foreclosures and you can dial them down based on your filters. And, and what I would do is skip trace those and I would aggressively pursue um, all those leads. Also, you have liens here. These are any involuntary liens. These are typically going to be, um, you can actually find tax delinquencies in here if they're recorded, mechanics liens, like some crazy liens. This is a great opportunity to reach out to people and I find it a highly accurate list. And then don't forget the high equity, the traditional list, people with 40% uh, more equity. It's all right in here. It's so much simpler than using list source in my opinion. So we have this, so um, you can decide to do it in road. Um, and then up here it's called analytics. So this is a really cool feature. This I would mostly use if I'm going into a virtual market. So I know you guys all know the hot areas 
in your market. So if you want to say you're just dropping into Fort Lauderdale and you've never been here, you need to figure out what's going on. Start here with analytics, especially if you're in your virtual market. So the first thing you can do is start with value. And then there's a little arrow down here uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, on estimated value. And it's called a heat map. So right off the bat, what this is going to tell you, everything in red are the really high priced homes. So obviously, if you guys don't know Fort Lauderdale, this is over by the water um, near the beach. They're going to be the most expensive. What you're trying to do is identify the stuff that's transitioning from blue to yellow. That's where the transitions, that's where usually the greatest opportunity is. At this point, most of these are peaked or million dollar plus homes. And that's typically going to be out of the wholesale range. So you can sit here and play around with the data. Another key one, this is probably the biggest one you hunt for, is price growth. And what you can do is um, most of the, if you start with like the three year trend, and then you can zoom in too. So when you zoom in, you can try to find the areas that are really starting to become hot. So like I'm noticing now, like this area right here is you got a mix of yellows and reds. The transitions are right there. Now you've got to learn about the neighborhoods and stuff like that. Well, Rick, how do I know about the neighborhoods? Really cool. By the way, you can break this down to one year, but three year gives you a pattern of what's going on. Um, you can pull up rental values. Now, based on rental values, you can decide what you consider a low income neighborhood and based on rent price, voila. So you can figure the green's probably around the, the thousand, twelve hundred dollar mark, and you can find transition spots in here. Now remember, this is just one city. This is really the best way to do an overview if you're gonna go in a virtual market. Sometimes you find markets and the whole city's painted in red what that's telling you is there is a ton of saturation there. When you find uh, a lot of yellows and you find and identify neighborhoods like that, it means there's really, really good opportunity. So if you're looking to get into virtual marketing and you, you've got like 3 million tools going on, I will tell you PropStream is the one place you can go and get all your data in one spot and by the way, it has a database built into it. You can pull all your comps. You have all these unique lists. If you went and pulled your own separate vacant, uh, vacant list, it would, you would never get the filters of taking MLS properties off there. You get your high equity properties, you get pre foreclosures and you get access to the cash buyers, which is huge. Uh, I spend $97 a month on it. And I gotta be honest with you, I was probably spending $500 plus, plus I was using list stores and list stores, depending what type of account you have, most of them are like eight to 10 cents a pull. You get 10,000 pulls every 30 days and you can organize your list in here. Now, there's a lot more going on and I might expand this, but you can put your properties under a database, individual contacts, you can tell, um, you can do some list stacking in here there's so much I can't even squeeze in one video and you can track your marketing campaigns. It even has built in landing pages for you. So the biggest take from this, the comps and the lists are fantastic. And if you're going to use this, if you're even thinking about doing a virtual market, this tool alone will save you so much time and energy and let you truly evaluate which market you want to penetrate for maximum result. You never want to be the first guy into a market, but you definitely don't want to be the last guy into a super red area into the analytics. So guys, if you, if you really like this and you're interested, do me a favor, go ahead and get a prop stream account. If you don't have one, go to listrei.com and I should have it in the link below here. Go ahead and register for your free account. And I believe we have some special goodies for you and for those of you that go ahead and sign up, we'll offer some additional videos to give you some further detailed support on how you can utilize props, prop stream in your business and specifically in your local markets. So go ahead and go over to listrei.com. That's listrei.com. 
and go ahead and sign up for your free trial version of PropStream. And if you go ahead and sign up, we'll go ahead and provide you some additional videos and a free gift with it. So I appreciate your time. This is Rick with Flip with Rick, and I'll see you soon.